uh, and their love life maybe yeah. gets a little bit of a reroute. And uh, research has shown that January sees the biggest number of sign-ups for dating apps. Right? But when looking for love, it's important to stay vigilant. Like last year in the UK, a staggering £92 million was lost to romance scams, which is sadly something our next guests have experienced firsthand. Yeah, Sharon Shearer and Lisa Johansson were both conned by Britain's most prolific romance scammer, David Checkley, who I'm delighted to say is currently behind bars after defrauding around £100,000 from at least 10 women. Not a nice person, my yeah. word. Sharon and Lisa uh, are here to share their stories today. And thank you for coming on and, and sharing your story, because, you know, it, it takes a lot of courage to come on national TV and, and say, I've been duped. I've been duped. <laughs> so, Sharon, I'm going to start with you. Um, how did you meet David? Um, he walked into my shop and said he was looking for a rice cooker. I was selling retro stuff, so I didn't have anything like that. Absolutely charming, handsome. And he just sweet-talked me for the next hour, but found out everything about me within that hour. If I owned my own place, if I had my own business, how many kids I had, if I had a big family. Yeah, he See, knew what he was asking. Th th this is the thing, yeah, and it's very important to highlight this from the start. He was very, very good at scamming. Because yeah. you're very, very bright, smart, strong people. He was good <laughs> at his job. He knew what he was doing. What's your experience of that first meet of David? The first meeting met him on, on uh, Plenty of Fish. Oh. And... It didn't take more than a couple of days before we actually met. Um, and again, he knew everything about me within the first drink. Mm -hmm. Wow. So yeah. it's the first time you two have met today, so you're yeah. Yeah. sharing <laughs> stories. And <laughs> your stories, you know, you're talking about David. And yes. They're quite similar in the way that they, he's approached you both. Uh, yes. In, in many ways. Well, he had a standard, like, modus operandi. He, you know, it was his job. So he was really good at his job. Well, I mean, Sherry must have been good. I mean, he did feed you some proper whoppers. Like he yeah. said, he was in a. He said he was um, that he was a, a U.S. Air Force pilot during yes. the Vietnam War. That's where he got the <laughs> shrapnel wound in his head and his nose. No, and, and he said his parents had died in an um, air crash. Yes, no. He really? said his ex-wife was an American billionaire. Yeah. Mm, um, yeah. And that he was a personal friend of Michael Jackson. Yes, had photos and everything. And he, you didn't ever think he, he's telling a whopper here? Uh, not at the beginning. I mean, obviously, as time went on, I was with him for three years. Wow. As time went on, uh, little things started to come up and I would question him and he would say, what sort of man do you think I am? Right. Mm. You know, I've met your children, I've met your grandchildren, I've stayed in your house, I've been to Grenada yeah. to meet your family and his sister's actually a policewoman. Uh, you couldn't make that up. And and she, uh, she, she really is. She really is. Wow. Yeah, she's retired now. But, um, and, um, I mean, he is... It just trips off the tongue. And yeah. if you say, are you sure, he'll throw it right back on it's you. It's interesting, the size of the lies, yeah. because they're so yeah. big... I know. ..that you think he can't be lying. No. Because no. it's almost hard to believe anyway, even yeah. if it was real. You kind of go along with it, I guess, Lisa. What was your experience of, of the tales he told and, and how you fell for him? Oh... Uh, I was told very early on, again, I was told he was from White Plains, New York. Um, he's got a brother in Texas. Um, I never actually went to his home or met his family, I met one person from his family. Um, but but the, the lies were out of this world. Yeah. Like, like what? What were the examples of the lies? Goodness, there were so many. Um, I can't even think. Yeah. Can, can I ask, did, did you both fall for him? Did you both love him? You yeah, oh, definitely, absolutely. definitely. It just goes to show, you know, when you're in love, yeah. it's, things get blinded, don't they? And yeah. You, you, let a, you let a lot slip. When you're, when you're loved up, you do let a lot but, slip. But the problem with him was he was a complete controlling, yeah. dominating character. Yeah. So he threatened my son. He, what? Yeah, he um, also alienated me from my friends, you know, uh, are you home? No, I'm out. Well, if you're not back in five minutes, I'm leaving. That type mm. of thing. 
And when did he start asking you for money, Sharon? I mean, I, and how did he start asking two you for money? Two to three weeks. What? Two to yeah. three weeks into the relationship? Yeah, he used to come up to my shop every day and um, he said he was having cash flow issues. And I said, listen, I'm not wealthy, but I can lend you some money. Right. He actually wrote something down to say that he owed me the two grand that right. I was going to lend him. And then when I was in the bank, he phoned me. He said, oh, could you make that three? Yeah. Ooh, oh, yeah. Because he had you. <laughs> yeah. Lisa, when did you start getting the first warning signs, the red flags? The red flags, um, I was struggling. I was actually signed off at the time when, when I, I knew David for depression and anxiety. And uh, so I was on universal credit. So money was tight. Money was tight. I had a little bit of saving. Um, and of course, he asked for that. When I asked for money back, because otherwise I would have to go to a food bank, it was... I thought we were over that. Over what? <sighs> well, we're in a partnership. You give me money, I give you money. And I said, yeah, the only problem is... I give you money and you don't oh, give me anything back. Did he ever back. give you anything back? He did, but no. small amounts, tiny amounts, yeah. Uh, Lisa, what did your friends and family think of him? Um, my oldest son met him. My oldest son's wife met him. Um, they didn't think much of him, but they only met him once. Right. And after that, I... No, nobody's meeting him. How did you find out he was a scammer? <laughs> he always told me he was an architect. And three months to half a year before, the police phoned me and told me about him. Uh, he asked me to find either a garage or a storage unit. And I said, OK, I'll do that. Went to Big Yellow. I had some th things in storage there. Um, and said, I need the size of a garage. And they told me the cubic feet of the garage size uh, locker. Um, and when I told David about that, he went, no, that's not very small. Uh, that's not very big. And, and he, I said, well, it's garage size. So I said, how do you work it out then? And he told me how he would work it out. And for an architect, I don't think I would have bought one of his houses yeah. if you yeah. couldn't work that out. Right. And um, you got a phone call from the police to say, this guy's a wrong answer. Yeah, he, they told me he was with uh, 17 women at the time. How was getting he, that phone call? It was like he died. It, really? uh, honestly, I didn't feel sadness for the loss of the relationship because really, I think it had run its course anyway. Um, so it was a cut-off yeah. point. Well, on the yeah. 29th of November, um, he was convicted of 19 counts of fraud and one of theft, and he was sentenced to 11 years in prison. Yes. I mean, how are you both feeling about that now? Well, Good. He's not going to do 11 no, years. He's, he's not. only going to do half, and then he'll be out and do it again. But everybody knows what he is now. Yeah. That's That's the show is photograph again. Take this yeah. on board, OK? Look out yeah. for this guy, OK? He is not to be trusted when he comes out. No. Yeah. And, and that's the job that you both have done today, by coming on TV and telling yeah. everyone, everyone about him and telling them that really smart, strong people like yourselves can be conned yeah. means... Yes, it's you know, true. It is true. But Josie, people might feel nervous about coming out and, 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 and going to the police about yeah. someone, but they don't need to. The, the example being said here today, do they? Yeah, thank you for coming on and sharing your story. Thank you. Thank nice you to meet you. Thank you, Lisa. Yeah.